What's up, Ohio? What's up, America? What up, what's up, United States? My name is Matt Fish. I'm the owner and founder of Mount Bar Grill. You probably know me, love me, hate me. You're somewhere between 50-50 on it. Anyways, we are here. It's April. We're at our beautiful Independence location. We're here to talk about everything happening all April 2019 at Mount Bar Grill. Tons of stuff going on. I'm actually standing behind the table right now. You can't look down because I'm probably shooting your torso up. But in front of me, there is a plethora of awesomeness that's going to be coming your way soon. We're going to talk about that. Let's get right into it. Why not? Felicia, let's go over to this first sandwich over here. This is the first of three sandwiches we're doing for April, guys and girls out there. This is back and better than ever. This is called the Fried Green Tomato BLT. We had it on our menu early on. We took it off because green tomatoes weren't available for a while. They're back. We're gonna run it all April. This is the Fried Green Tomato BLT, Fried Green Tomatoes, Hickory Bacon, Southern Herb Remoulade, Romaine Lettuce and Cheddar Cheese. Oh man, that's beautiful. It's got our kettle chips on there. Next, we're gonna go talk about the Springtime War Pig. You guys are familiar with our menu. We've got a Korean War Pig. We also have a Cuban War Pig. And then we're gonna keep doing some different War Pigs out there. They're very pork-centric sandwiches. This one is called the Springtime War Pig. It's kind of got some Mexican and some Latin American flavors going on. Pulled pork simmered in our authentic Mexican sweet and spicy pineapple El Pastor sauce. That's a delicious uh, pulled pork right there. Refried beans, crispy seasoned chicharrones, pepper jack queso sauce. That's a beautiful sandwich. Really good, really crispy, really filling. Kind of spicy, kind of sweet. Ooh, delicious. Let's go over to this next one right here. Here's one that was on our menu way back in 2013, 2014, right when we were opening up the Columbus location. Anybody out there remember that? Anybody watching from Columbus? Hi there. But this is our, called the after school special. This is our fried bologna sandwich. A lot of people have asked us to bring back the fried bologna sandwich. It's back all of April. Thick cut bologna, sweet spicy pickles, house made ketchup chips, tangy ballpark mustard aioli, romaine lettuce and American cheese on that. That's a beautiful sandwich. Let's go talk about, you guys remember that we launched a maniacal macaroni and cheese menu back in October and now we're doing different macaroni and cheese features every month. So this one is gonna be available for April. This is our Frito Pie Mac and Cheese. We got our spicy house-made chorizo in there, our four bean vegetarian chili, crushed Frito chips on top, as you guys can see. See my finger wagging around on there? Cheddar cheese sauce, cheddar cheese melted on top, sour cream and scallions all mixed into our Awesome creamy cheddar macaroni and cheese we make in-house every single day. This bad boy is awesome, very filling. You can get it as an entree, you can get it for the table, and you can share it between two or three or four people. That thing is awesome. So those are the features, the entree type features that we're gonna have all April. But we can come on over here. I know we're, don't get dizzy out there. There's a lot of stuff to look at and see. We have launched brand new for April 2019, the most requested item on the menu that we never offered is chicken tenders for anyone 10 years older, 10 years old or older. These used to be just on our kids menu. They were hugely popular. Adults would try to sneak them from their kids. They try to order them for themselves. We tried to keep them available only for kids out there, but you know what, the people have spoken. America has spoken, they want their chicken fingers. So we're giving them to you. So this is our chicken tender entree right here. Five hand battered chicken tenders, house cut fries, and then we're, we're, we're got this with a sweet mustard sauce today, but there's a tons of different sauce you can dip them in. This is becoming by far one of the more popular items on the menu. Al thinks so. Al, what do you think? I think it is the number one requested item at Mel Bar and Grill. And it's back and it's bigger and better than ever. Absolutely. We've got yeah. it. How's it selling so far? It's amazing. It's outselling everything. Outselling everything, people at home. Did you hear that? So let's go over, let's talk about some of the features, the side dishes and the appetizers we're featuring for all of April. So right in front of Felicia right here, we've got our fried green tomato appetizer. We call this the attack of the green tomatoes. You've got four uh, hand breaded with um, cornflakes, believe it or not. Fried green tomatoes right there. Our fire roasted corn salsa, southern herb remoulade. Beautiful. 
We're also doing a uh, two different side dishes here, seasonal side dishes. Uh, let's go to the, let's go to the broccoli first. Let's talk about the bro broccoli. That's a herb roasted broccoli right there. Garlic herb roasted broccoli. Um, this is actually vegan for all you vegan and vegetarian friends out there. And then right next door to that guy, we've got our queso crispy queso potatoes. Those are red skin potatoes that are roasted and then deep fried. Pepper jack queso sauce, some cilantro, and some corn salsa on there. Man, deliciousness. And who's ready for dessert after all that stuff? I know I probably couldn't eat dessert after all that, but how about you, Felicia? Could you eat oh, dessert? I can. Oh, all right. room for dessert. All right, Felicia's got some room for dessert, so we're gonna talk about our dessert today. This is our bread pudding, you guys at home. You know it, you love it. You know we do a different bread pudding every month. This is backed by popular demand. Electric blueberry lemonade bread pudding, homemade blueberry lemonade. Bleah. Let me start over again. Homemade blueberry lemon bread pudding served warm over a sweet blueberry sauce and topped with some vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and some lemonade sugar. Delicious. Who's ready? Huh? You ready for that? Dig in, dig in. We're gonna dig out. Oh, I'm gonna try the sauce. Oh man. That is good. That is good. So, I've also got two cocktails, guys and girls out there. Let's talk about those really quick. We've got our beer feature of the month right here. This is from our good friends at Great Lakes Brewing here in Cleveland, Ohio. One of the, uh, the best breweries in the country, but they're based here in Greater Cleveland. This is a brand new IPA they just came out with, Great Lakes IPA. They've had different IPAs throughout their career. They've got some flagship IPAs. This is a brand new West Coast style IPA they just rolled out. Dry hopped, lightly filtered, citrus forward, easy drinking, for the people, by the people. Great Lakes Brewing, good friends of ours. I'm gonna take a sip of this in a second and show you guys how delicious it is because I've been talking a lot for the last couple of minutes. Welcome Chad to the room, Chad, welcome. Hey Facebook. Hey Facebook, Chad is here. And then next to that, we've got our cocktail feature. This is our Absolute Vanilla Bean Lemonade. We've partnered with Absolute to bring the, uh, the vanilla um, Absolute flavor in, and we mix it with some fresh lime juice, house-made vanilla syrup, and obviously the vanilla vodka. It's so delicious. And uh, with this, we're actually partnering with them on our Skip the Straw program, where um, every cocktail that is sold Absolute is actually going to donate some money towards uh, the Great Lakes and the rivers and the streams here in Northeast Ohio. So every one of these cocktails is sold all throughout Ohio. Absolute, we're going to be partnering with, is going to donate some money to help some, for some conservation. So as you guys know, we participate in the Skip the Straw program. We love our Great Lakes. We like fresh water. Um, we want, obviously, water to survive, so we need it. You know, speaking about water, I'm going to take a sip of this. Mm, that's really good. Really refreshing. It's our limeade. I'm gonna take a sip of this. See how refreshing this is as well. Mm. This is a very good IPA. I am an IPA guy. I've been drinking them for years. I love IPAs, my favorite style. I like hoppiness, I like citrus forward. This beer is really, really good. Great Lakes, kudos to you guys. You guys did a fantastic job on this beer. Mm. Delicious. So hey, it's spring. What does spring mean? Baseball season is back. Back here in Cleveland, Ohio, the Tribe is in town this weekend, but they are gonna be in town for the next 81 games and even after that because we're going to the World Series this year. I've said it before, say it again, this is the year, playoffs, World Series in Cleveland. You guys do know the All-Star Game is here in town, so if you're from Cleveland, you're looking forward to it. If you're from out of the Cleveland area, if you're coming in to watch the baseball games, killer. Remember, we have a stand at the uh, Progressive Field down there where the Cleveland Indians play. Melt Ballpark, we have five different sandwiches down there. It's very popular. Go say hi to those guys and girls right on our stand. They're great people. And I can tease something that's coming very soon here in April. Keep an eye on Facebook, keep an eye on Twitter, keep an eye on Instagram, keep an eye on our website. Keep an eye on, we're gonna do some skywriting. There might be some zeppelins or some balloons flying over, but we are launching something really cool and interesting at our Cleveland Heights location, which was our second Melt Bar and Grill location, opened in 2010. 
We are approaching our 10 year anniversary there, believe it or not, and we have done a major renovation project over there, and we're gonna be grand opening the brand new renovation project on April 19th, which is Good Friday. We figured it's a really good thing for the neighborhood, a really good thing for Melt, so why not launch it on Good Friday, April 19th? So keep an eye out for that. Um, there's going to be some really cool, fun, interesting things happening over there. Another reason to go to Melt besides our awesome food and our awesome beer and our cool, fun, eclectic atmosphere, there's going to be some more cool things going on in there. You might think it's a puppet show because I like puppets a lot, but it's not. It's not a puppet show. There's no petting zoo. There's not going to be any puppies or kitties over there, but it's going to be something equally as cool, I promise. We might have dragons in the basement that we're, we're going to release. You never know. So anyways, let's recap. Guys and girls out there in Meltland, we've got some killer features coming up in all of April and May and June and July and August. So get to Melt Barn Grill. Come see us all April. We're here, 10 locations in Ohio. Let me see if I can rattle them all off. Um, in order, in succession, we've got our Lakewood location. We've got Cleveland Heights. We have Independence, where we are standing today, which has an amazing party room, by the way. So events at MeltBarnGrill.com. Email us, you can book your party, you can do catering at our facility or at your facility. So reach out to us, plenty of party bookings coming up. So get your name in the hopper right now. Uh, Felicia would love to talk to you. So we have Mentor, and then we have two locations in Columbus. We're in the short north in Columbus, and then we're in Easton. We are in Akron, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Avon, beautiful Avon, Ohio, up here in the, in the Northeast Ohio region, very west of here. We also have an awesome party room on Avon, so you can book that. Canton, Ohio, and then remember Cedar Point is coming. We'll talk about Cedar Point in May when we come back to you guys at a Facebook Live event, but Cedar Point is opening on May 12th, and we have a full service operation inside the park at Cedar Point, as you guys know, so I'm starting to sound like either a uh, used car salesman or a Food Network star. So that's my time to leave you guys. So see you guys later. Have an awesome April. Go Tribe. See you guys at the World Series. See you at Melt.